guess I don't agree with you. Human evolution is a fantasy, but that is exactly what I am telling you. As a world... Where's your sidekick, Taggart? Six months ago, Seraph Industries was attacked by mercenaries whose objective was to cripple our research. But I've learned the attack was just a smokescreen. Megan Reed's team was kidnapped, and Isaiah Sandoval, your personal aide, was involved. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for Mr. Jensen's intrusion, and I assure you that these accusations are without basis. Are they? This is Sandoval. Why are you calling me here? There's been a change of plans. Seraph's team must not make it to the hearing. But that's too soon. If you want me to remove the GPLs, I'll need a full operating suite. Does the facility have one? That's your man, Taggart. Talking about removing implanted GPL devices so that the people who took Seraph's scientists could cover it up. I see what's going on here. Seraph Industries has received two black eyes in the last few days. The first due to the shocking news coming out of Montreal that biotech companies are secretly participating in unethical super soldier experiments. And the second as a result of their violent escalation of today's peaceful protest. David Seraph and his corporate bedfellows are desperate and in imminent danger of losing the regulation vote, so this man has been sent here to attack my reputation. I'm right here, Taggart. Look at me. I admit, I wouldn't feel bad if your reputation was damaged in front of the press, since you've been doing the same to my colleagues for years. But that's not why I'm here. Seraph scientists are alive, and it's time for the truth to come out. The truth, Mr. Jensen, is that this recording of yours proves nothing. It could have been made by anyone in the world with a grudge against Humanity Front, and you are our prime suspect. You're right, it's not enough to get a conviction. But it's enough for a search warrant. It's all I want, Taggart. Why are you standing in the way? I'm not. I'm trying to protect... Look, Mr. Jensen. I know why you came here instead of taking your recording to the police. I know the real reason for your accusations, and you're not entirely to blame for what you're doing. It is common. After trauma, such as the one you suffered, to fixate on the event, to stay blocked in the past. In a word, you're obsessed. I can worry about myself later. What's really important now is the five innocent people whose lives were stolen from them during that attack. Sandoval knows where they are. Now where is he? I... I don't want to see anyone's lives stolen from them. As you know, I was a practicing psychologist before I devoted my life to ending the threat of augmentation. And I've seen this kind of behavior before. You're confused. You consider me your enemy, and you think the only way you can regain control is to defeat me in some way. You're wrong. Of course I want control. Every time I touch something, I wonder, just for a second, every time, if what I'm feeling is real. It's a bit like being in charge of an organization, I bet. Do you always know what the people at Humanity Front, your people, are doing? In my organization? Well, most of the time, I suppose. From the very day I founded Humanity Front, I made it clear that the group would be devoted to non-violent resistance. To deviate from this would mean dishonoring the memory of the very woman whose murder caused me to found the organization. Mr. Jensen, how can you possibly accuse me of doing otherwise? I 
I know about your wife's murder, Mr. Taggart, and how it led you to start Humanity Front. I've lost someone close to me, too, but I have a chance to get her back. If Sandoval is involved in Megan's abduction in any way, he dishonored your wife's memory. For her sake, and for the sake of my people, I need to know where he is. All right, Mr. Jensen. You're right. For Marjorie's sake, I can't risk tainting the integrity of what I built in her name. I'll help you find Isaiah, and I pray that you are wrong about him. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize, but I'm going to have to beg your indulgence for a few moments more. If you will all please remain patient, I will return as soon as I can. Thank you. Mr. Jensen, I'll see you backstage. Man, the riot police are closing in. Gonna lock the whole place down. I'd get out of here if I were you. If we don't listen to Bill Taggart, the corporations are going to completely take over. We need to get a UN resolution on this. Someone needs to step up to the plate. This is horrible. They're gonna blame Mr. Taggart for this riot. I've already heard some people say it was his speech that sparked the violence, but that's ridiculous. That William Taggart is brilliant. He's right. Runaway technology will only lead to self-destruction. There has to be some means of controlling this. Well, you've got some nerve showing up here. You looking to cause trouble or something? I think it may be safer to stay in here for a while. The protests are really starting to get out of hand. I don't know how the riot started, but I'm not going out there until the streets are cleared up. I heard the police had their hands full, though. Looters and vandals have joined the legitimate protesters. Now it's out of control. Look around! This ain't the time! Get the hell out of here! Take a walk, buddy. I'm not interested in what you have to say. How can any sane people do this? They're out of control. I've never witnessed a mob before. It was so scary. Don't bother me, please. You're scaring me. Please go away. Call is now firmly in the United Nations court. This is Eliza Kassam, reporting to you live. Mr. Jensen, I appreciate you allowing me to deal with this in a more discreet manner. Save it, Taggart. You've wasted enough of my time as it is. Now, where's Sandoval? He has an apartment he uses when in this city, on Grand River Road. He mentioned he was feeling very run down, so I can only assume he went there. I see. He's not an evil man, Mr. Jensen. If he's done what you say, it's only because of his brother, Ezekiel. A man you might know better as Zeke Sanders. Sanders? The man who attacked Sarah's manufacturing plant? I knew nothing about it until after it was over, and then I tried. I, I tried to convince Isaiah not to follow in his footsteps. Good job. Mr. Jensen, please. Isaiah has done so much for so many needy people, people suffering from implant rejection. Promise me you will deal with him fairly. That all depends on Isaiah. I... I understand, but please try.